Up here. Nope, this way. You gotta hop on this little wall and jump up. Well, well, well. First things first, I need that food. Breckers. You are, sir. Thank you, Breckers. Of course. Okay. So let's do this plan. Very well. I'll be brief. The strategy that uh, I've concocted, which uh, granted I had to have a very awkward conversation with my, uh, <clears throat> my friend's dear mother to explain uh, what I'm calling the train derailment strategy. The principal charges of this case revolve around motive, terrorism, and murder. Terrorism requires political intent. Murder in the first degree, and this is critical, murder in the first degree requires calculated uh, thought. It requires someone to have already thought of committing the murder, not an act of passion, not an act of oh. enraged emotions. The story that you spun to the police is actually perfect. Normally I'd say don't talk to the police, but it actually works in our favor. So, the train derailment case revolves around a simple principle. The affirmative defense that you, Peanut, Rami, whoever else, were informed that there was a train being run on Peanut's mom. And yes, I did have to explain this to How did she feel about that? Mother. Honestly, she handled it in stride. She was very professional. Probably not the first time, right? She's heard a story like that? Yeah, probably not. Uh, actually, interestingly <laughs> enough, she has literally handled cases of this exact sort of nature where upon, and this is the narrative we spin, upon hearing about such scandalous, debaucherous activity, mm. you all, in an act of pure passion, and here's a key, even if you, Rami, and the other members did not have the same passionate reaction as Peanut, it doesn't matter. You were just there to support him. Therefore, no terrorism. Your motive is to support your fellow gang member, a family member. Pina himself is enraged. We'll bring him to the stand. We'll testify. We'll have to show that he is an easily emotional and uh, psychotic person, which, yeah. you know, we can actually easily, right? It's Pina, you know. We have to basically prove that he's not a cold, calculated killer, which we both know he's not. You stormed what was not the council meeting, but what you stormed was a meeting room. A room that was labeled as a meeting room. Mm -hmm. Two angles here for you. The first, the audio is such that we hear Peanut yelling, this is for my mom. He had thought that they were all <laughs> engaged in the uh, debaucherous act. However, you, Mr. K, yelled out, meeting adjourned. Mm -hmm. And why did you yell out meeting adjourned? because it was a meeting room exactly. and labeled as such. And secondly, what is a train, but not a form of meeting? Exactly. It's a meeting uh, of people in the form of a train. Exactly. And <laughs> what, what are you going to say? Are you going to run in there and yell something like derail oh, the yeah, train? Keep railing your, pull like, into station? No, the colloquial yeah, term be inappropriate. Be meeting Exactly. Now, I uh, want to make sure our witnesses are, you know, approved by you and make uh, good sense for you and your boys. So we'll also need to call a one Curtis to the stand as a uh, expert uh, witness with all things regarding sex and debauchery. Okay. Uh, he'll be one of our witnesses to outline exactly what a train is and uh, why it constitutes as a meeting and why it would also constitute uh, the heightened emotional state that Peanut was in. This clears you of your terrorism charge. The murder charge, a little trickier, but again, we can drop it to second degree using the train derailment strategy. The other part of the murder charge, as conferred with by my lawyer consultant friend's mother, uh, it turns out that inappropriate actions carried out by EMS or doctors make it so that uh, those charges then don't necessarily stick. However, that one is going to be trickier because mm -hmm. A, he was shot 
Right, we put, the, we put him in that situation. Right, and uh, it's going to come down to the, to the medical records. From what I've heard of rumors is basically there was medical malpractice. We can, prove, we can discuss that. We can interview the doctors. It's not a, it's not a silver bullet. The and apparently it's not business. his first time. He's actually had a couple documented complaints against him is what I was told. Excellent. Yeah, could work in our favor. Um, it, it all depends on what the medical report looks like. We can't rely on that defense. The main defense is actually kind of what you cooked up. The train derailment is the legal strategy I propose. The witnesses, people like Peanut, yourself will testify to the emotional state that hearing of this train being run uh, put you in. People like Curtis to testify for what exactly that train is, as well as we're going to need someone or we're going to need some sort of story that demonstrates that you guys were actually informed of this. Again, it can just be witness testimony, but that's the reason that you went over the city hall. So someone, I got someone that works at Mosley's. I can have them... Uh... His name's Robbie. He works at Mosley's, one of my boys. We could have him say he was there and saw us just chatting to some guy with red hair. Some, something simple like that, not too much detail. So you're telling me I did a great job in questioning, by the way. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mick. That, that is so, you, that is so you actually, You actually did. I, you I know, mean, this I is do perfect. got a lot of experience. You know, don't give too many details. Be vague and don't uh, make sure you're not giving them what they want for a narrative. Well, and what's, what's really crazy is I thought, you know, I'm going to talk to you about the second thing, about the train derailment strategy that we're going to use. Because the first is, you gave us the perfect out in terms of motives. Terrorism and first-degree murder all require motives, which we have now successfully, you know, taken care of. But the best part is, for any of the other charges, and for this entire case, the real strategy is the derailment, Mr. K. Because, see, we are going to put on courtroom theater. We're going to make the entire spectacle about the train and Peanut's mom. We're going mm -hmm. to distract everyone from them actually having to prove any of the crimes that you guys are being charged with. They're going to be so busy, so flummoxed, trying to deal with the narrative that we've presented that they won't actually provide reasonable doubt for the other crimes. Ergo, we actually might even be able to get other charges dropped as well. Beautiful. Now, um... Have you been in contact with the PD? Have they given you the charges yet? No. I need to be fully confirmed as your lawyer. You are my lawyer. And then I can. You have to text it to me. Okay. Ah. Um. I'll see what I can do as far as the charges go. Our main goal is to drop any of the extremely egregious ones. Terrorism, murder. As for everything else, it's a bonus if we can uh, book them down a bit. Exactly. Terrorism being the first, you know, the number one to get rid of. Of course. Beautiful. Oh, that's all. Absolutely stay safe beautiful. And stay hidden. Will do. And again, if, uh, if we can do this, we can win this case. You said you won't kill me. That's right. I won't kill you. I'll embrace you. Finally stop looking over my shoulder. Oh my God. We know who's looking over uh, your ex-wife's shoulder though. Oh, that's, yeah. Oh, you might not know this. That's actually Brecker's. Um, <laughs> right, my he's new the one ex. That... Wait, no. Multiple? Uh, well, okay, long story short, remember when I ran for mayor, I had to uh, uh, basically get the PD's vote, so I had a political marriage that was organized by Brian Knight, and that political marriage was to a uh, peach from the PD. Um, actually, being married to her is how I realized that I was gay. Anyways, I'm technically still married to her, but uh, right now she wants alimony from me. Uh, she wants half of what I own, so I'm having my assistant Breckers here um, date her and Hello. sleep with her so that we can say that she cheated on me. Oh, that's pretty hot. Um, so, I, in a way, I'm also getting cucked yet again, but I'm... Yeah, but you're, you're, you're so into it, calm. though, so it's dope. I mean, I'm not into it, nor am I upset by it. I'm just... Yeah, it's dope. I'm it's different, dope. I'll be honest. Well, you know, everything happens for a reason, right? You're right. Good luck, Kate. Right. We'll Stay be safe. in touch. Good luck. Sir...
What is running a train? <laughs> I'll tell you when you're older, Breckers. Also, Breckers, I need you to take note of this meeting spot. I mean, that's a cinematic meeting spot. You gotta do that. pretty cool. Mm. Yeah. Okay, all right. See that? You know what I'm saying? Yo, I'm a monster in the interrogation room. We've, we've been in there too many times. When they bring me into an interrogation room, it, it usually hurts them even more. They're better off not even doing it. 